Today what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick review of, of finding slope. We're going to look at it graphically and we're going to calculate. So first of all, just a reminder, there are four types of slope. Positive slopes, negative slopes, zero slopes, and no slopes. We read a graph going from left to right, just like we read a words going from left to right. So if our graph is increasing as we go from left to right, it's going to be a positive slope. As we go from left to right, if it's decreasing, it's going downhill, it's going to be negative. A zero slope is going to be a horizontal line. And a no slope, sometimes it's called an undefined slope, is, vertical, is a vertical line. All right, so if we have a line on a graph, we can actually just count the slope. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at rise over run. Okay, so we look again from left to right. One thing I do want to address on this picture, though, is this point right here is not very good because it doesn't go right through the crosshairs. So I think I'm going to use this point instead. All right, so I need to count the rise over run. So I'm going from the first point on the left to the point on the right. So it had to go up one, two, three, four, and it went to the right, one, two, three. Okay, so my rise over run is four over three, which means my slope is four thirds. All right, so we're gonna look at slopes here. Okay, so I have our four possible answers on the right. Let's start up here in the upper left. I see two good points here. That's a rise of two and a run of one, which means my slope is two. Okay, over next one on the right, upper right. Here's a good point, here's a good point. This time it went down one to the right one. Okay, but because we went down, that's a negative one over one or negative one. Okay, so that's this one here. My slope is negative one. Let's go down to the lower left. I see two good points. This one went down one to the right two. Okay, because it went down, it's gonna be negative one over two or negative one half. Okay, the last one on the right here. I see two good points. It went up one over two. So up one over two would be my slope. So my slope there is one half. All right, so I'm gonna give you a minute here. We're going to, I'm gonna number these. This is number one, number two, and number three. Okay, I'm gonna have you go ahead and find the slope of number one. Okay, so the slope for number one, we need to go up one over two. So my slope here is one half. Go ahead and find the slope of number two. All right, so number two, you go down one, two, three, four, and over two. So it's negative four over two, which can be simplified to negative two. So my slope here is negative two. Okay, the last one on the right here went down one, two, three, four, five, and to the right, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that means it went down five over four. So my slope is a negative five fourths. Okay, so now we can also calculate slope using this formula. So this is the change in the y over the change in the x. Or maybe you've heard of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So just remember, when I give a coordinate point, these, each coordinate point has an x and a y. So this is an x and a y as well. So I'm just going to call this my first point, and these are going to be my second points. All right, so it says to subtract my y. So I need to take y2, which is negative 2 minus my first y, which is 3, over, now I'm going to do the same thing for my x's. I'm going to go my x sub 2, which is 4, minus my x sub 1, which is a negative 1. Now make sure you watch that, because the negative, the subtraction is in our formula, but my 1 there was negative, so I do need to keep that. All right, so my slope now, in my numerator, I have negative 2 minus 3 is a negative 5. In my denominator, I have 4 minus a negative 1, which is really plus a positive. So 4 plus 1 is 5, which means my slope is a negative 1. All right, so let's go ahead, and we're going to find the slope of, using, of the points 1, 2, and 3, 6 are on the line. We want to find its slope. So I'm going to go ahead and write that formula for you again. 
Okay, and I want you to go ahead and calculate the slope for problem number one up here. Okay, problem number one, we're going to subtract our x's. So we have 6 minus 2, and then over, I'm going to subtract my y's. I have 3 minus 1. So 6 minus 2 is 4, 3 minus 1 is 2. So the slope of my line is, oops, sorry. The slope of my line is 4 over 2, or 2. All right, go ahead and do the second problem here. The points 3, 8, and 2, 10 are on a line. Find its slope. Okay, for this one, we're going to take our x's. We have, I'm sorry, our y's. We have 10 minus 8 over, I'm going to do now my, my x's, 2 minus 3. So 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 minus 3 is a negative 1, which means my slope is a negative 2.